Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and today we're gonna get our swerve on by getting our curve on. All right guys, this tutorial is gonna be a little bit more raw than our usual tutorials. And that's because I still don't have power after Irma. So it's super hot in here, cause it's Florida. So I have the windows open, people are running generators, there's a really loud cockatoo down the road. And because it's hot, you'll probably hear my laptop fan too. But I still have my bourbon, so we're pretty set. All right, so this one's gonna be pretty quick. It's really simple, but just something I thought that was kinda neat. So I was trying to work on something else for you guys, but I came across this. It's something I had kinda seen before when I was working on stuff, but I never really thought of a use for it. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you look at this, you can see this text actually kinda curves down. And that's just accomplished with a simple displacement map. These are set to red and green, but it doesn't really matter, it's a grayscale map. So you can see we're moving it up vertically and displacing to the side. I don't really know why now that I think about it, but this because the map is white. For some reason though, the horizontal direction moves it back this way. So if we turn this on, you can see I have a mask over all of this, which chops out the top part of this. If it's off, it kind of goes up a little further. As you can see, it displaces way up into the top. So I'm gonna undo. All right, so I have just a bunch of text animators and they're all set to random. And each one basically just moves this up and scales it down to zero. So it starts out at zero and negative 220 and then they all come down and go back to zero in position and 100% scale. Because I wanted it to do it randomly, there wasn't really an easy way for me to pass it along and have it work like I want. Maybe I could have used like a ramp up or something, but I didn't do that. I just stacked a whole bunch of the same animators so that the random values would eventually apply to everything. It actually worked out kind of nicely. The only thing is that it stacks a little bit on the ones where they overlap, but with this mask, you'll never know. But you can play around with whatever kind of animator you want here and achieve different looks with this. So let me just show you the map really quickly. All this is is a white layer in the background and then a 50% gray shape over top with a mask with a vertical feather. So since this fades back to gray at the bottom, the displacement lessens out until it's nothing when it's in the gray. And that's pretty much it for the setup. Next week I hope to have power and I'm working on an interesting tutorial for you guys. So hopefully I can get back into the studio and record it. It's about 88 degrees in there right now, which I think would kill me because I can't stand the heat. Don't ask me why I live in Florida. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you feel like helping to support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Make sure you keep up with the blog at workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.